Our President of the United States, Donald Trump, is a man of many words. I would say few words, but this dude just can't shut up sometimes. It's not necessarily a bad thing, because before he was president, he was a self-proclaimed billionaire, went broke, and then made his billions back. That's just incredible. Dude is insanely smart, and even if he disagree with his political reasoning, you gotta give the guy some credit to where it's due. Dude is a genius at working the market, investing, and making his money work for him like soldiers. Well, you guys probably are wondering, what's the juicy secrets on him? Where can I find stuff that not many people know? And that's what we're going to go be going in today's video. You guys are going to learn a lot of secrets about him, a lot of business tips, how he invests, all the long yards, and then some you guys are going to find right here in today's video. What's going on, guys? JT here with the Business Hub coming to you with another video. Make sure before the video loads up to leave a huge thumbs up on it. Also, subscribe and let us know in the comment section down below if you did subscribe. That way, you could be entered in this month's subscriber giveaway where we shout out one lucky viewer who subscribes and comments down below saying they subscribed. It means a lot, guys. It really does. It goes the full 100 yards and more of you guys supporting us. Now, let's get into today's videos, the 10 secrets you did not know about our president, Donald Trump. Our first secret is find your art form. He says, I don't do it for the money. I've got enough, much more than I'll ever need. I do it just to do it. Deals are my art form. Other people paint beautifully or are on canvas or write wonderful poetry. I like making deals, preferably big deals. That's how I get my kicks. Have you guys ever been at the point in your life where you guys just make deals just to make deals? I mean, I can't say I have, and I can't say I'm putting down thousands of dollars every day to make business deals with other people, but that's literally what Donald Trump finds love in doing. Dude has a obsession with making deals with people, and even if it doesn't pay off, he doesn't care. Like he says, he doesn't do it for the money, which is a lie. I'm pretty sure you're doing it in the point to make money. But when you've got the billions he does, it just doesn't make much sense anymore, really. He's got more than enough money. What's a couple hundred thousand to lose? Honestly, that's like a small chump change right there for him. But he's making sure he has more than enough money to do it so he can continue to make deals. This is his art form. You gotta ask yourself, if you're working at a job you hate every day, are you working towards it to get to where you wanna be? Or are you just doing it to support yourself? The first answer is fine. Even if you hate it, you gotta start somewhere to get to the point you wanna be at so you can eventually start your own business or go off and pursue your own interests. But if you're just working to make rent or work every day to day and you're barely making more than enough money, you're not gonna be living a fun life. You're just gonna hate going to work. This is how I look at it and Donald Trump at the same time. If you're not living a life worth living, then what's worth living anymore? Now, that doesn't mean go out and kill yourself. No, we do not you know, support that here at the Business Hub, but you guys should honestly think about quitting that job and moving on to something bigger and better. Because trust me, even if you're doing something you love, it doesn't make much money as your previous job. It doesn't matter. You're going to start making money. You got to go where the money is, however. So that's why you always have to find your art form. Next, we have, but forget business if you're no natural. Deal making is an ability you're born with. It's in the genes. It's not about being brilliant. It does take a certain intelligence, but mostly it's about instincts. You can take the smartest kid, the one who gets straight A's and has 170 IQ. And if he doesn't have the instincts, he'll never be a successful entrepreneur. This is super duper true. It makes no sense to a lot of people, but to a lot of brilliant people like you guys watching the video, the ones who can actually understand it, that's when it starts to gel and click in the brain cells. You guys have to understand. Don't ever forget what you're doing is business oriented. Even if you're a janitor, you're cleaning those bathrooms for money. You're making sure the facilities are clean to their fullest extent so you can make more money, get a pay raise, and eventually get a promotion onto bigger and better things. If people see you working super hard, they're gonna tip you and pay you as much as they can to get that same amount of service or even better if that's possible. Always remember, it doesn't matter if you have the smartest kid in the classroom, the dude who got all A's, 170 IQ, dude was the prom king, just a very nice young man, destined for greatness. Unfortunately, those type of people end up either having a midlife crisis and the job they're at they don't like, and they realize when they were younger they wasted their life, or they end up just working a nine to five job for the rest of their life and they're content. If you're content, cool, that's great, that's awesome. But most people don't wanna have those type of jobs. They wanna be in charge, and there's nothing wrong with that. Here we have aim high. My style of deal making is simple, he says. 
I aim very high, and then I just keep pushing and pushing and pushing to get what I'm after. To me, it's very simple. If you're going to be thinking anyway, you might as well think big. Most people think small because they're afraid of success, afraid of making decisions, and afraid of winning. That last line really hit me hard, I'm not going to lie. When I read that, it honestly, you know, came home to me. There's a old business quote, scared money never makes any money. I know it's also in a rap song too, but this cannot be closer than the truth itself. Scared money will never make money if you're not willing to make big investment decisions. Big decisions, say an investment costs $5,000 and you could potentially make a hundred grand on it. If you're too scared to invest, that's your fault. But if you're like a risk taker like Donald Trump and you like investing in that type of stuff, then go all out. Lastly, we have be obsessive. It's never a bad thing to be obsessive, he says. One of the keys to thinking big is total focus. I think of it almost as a controlled neurosis, a quality I've noticed in many highly successful entrepreneurs. They're obsessive, driven, and almost maniacal, but it's all channeled into their work. It's not a bad thing to be obsessed with your business. As an entrepreneur, let's be honest, you're gonna be working seven days a week, 355 days a year. It's never a day where you're gonna have off. You may actually have one day where your job isn't even on your mind, but that's just a sign that you're losing interest in it. If you truly love what you do, you're gonna be thinking about it 24 seven. Even when you're out with the family, even when you're out playing video games, even when you're chilling in the hot tub, you're gonna be thinking about it. It's always gonna be eating away at you, and that's not a bad thing. It's never bad to be obsessive with something that's putting you in a position to be successful further and further in the future. Like I always say, if you're not obsessed with it, end up quitting. Don't even waste your time about it because you want to make sure something you're obsessed with, you find it as soon as you can and you try to perfect it as perfectly as possible. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. It means a lot from us from the business. So make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also let us know in the comment section down below if you guys did enjoy today's video and if you subscribe by subscribing and commenting down below, saying you subscribe and turning our post bell notification on. This is JT with the Business Hub signing out. And as always, see you guys later.